rim in there. It's freezing in there. It's very cold. So you obviously, you know, your last fight, you kind of rolled the dice a little bit, right? Took the chance, and, and I guess it didn't pay off. Um, any regrets, or do you feel like, in retrospect, that was still the, the right decision? Hmm. Yeah, definitely regret it. Because <laughs> 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 I came out, I had to, I injured my arm, so I had to deal with that. And then there was some stuff afterwards that didn't go to plan, so, but... I, reg I regret it a little bit, but I try and see it as a positive, like everything happens for a reason. So here I am now, a couple of months later and fighting, so I'm looking forward to that. So there was a little bit of lasting damage on, on the arm, did you, I mean, was it just rehab or what What did you have to do? Rehab and a couple of shots of st stem cells, uh, yeah, nice. but they, they wanted to do surgery, but if they said, they said if I was a pitcher, <laughs> which I'm not, so uh, yeah, it's good, it's good now. Very good. Um, any lessons you took out of that from the fight itself? I mean, I guess, you know, do, do some more jiu-jitsu, I guess, I don't know, really. <laughs> what lessons did you take out of it? I don't think it was the jiu-jitsu. Honestly, I just wasn't feeling good all the whole day and mentally I was like outside of my body. I, I've been in that position a lot and I just feel like I had I wasn't there, if you know what I mean. I was like outside and I'd, I f it wasn't the jiu-jitsu. Yeah. It wasn't my jiu-jitsu. It was just a bad day at the office. It's interesting, right? I mean, up. is that like the worst feeling as a fighter? Like knowing you put in all this training camp? I mean, you're, you're trying to get everything ready for one night, right? And then that one night, you're just not there. Is that the, the weirdest or worst feeling ever? Yeah, because we're training every day and you know, you can turn up uh, during the week and have like one or two bad days. But if you turn up on that bad day and it's the one time or the second time you're fighting of the year and yeah, you make a mistake, then you're going home with half your paycheck and with a loss. So it definitely is hard, the hardest part of, well, one of the hardest part of the, the sport. Nice. We'll be back at it now. Um, what do you think about the matchup? I mean, you guys know have had a little, a little history together, I guess. Um, so, did it excite you to get this matchup? Does it does it add anything to it, or is it is it just another opponent? Yeah, it definitely adds to it because you know I see her every day at the PI. She walks around like the school bully, and she just she rubs me and she rubs everyone else up the wrong way, and I'm I feel like I'm the lucky one that gets to punch her and get paid for it. So is this a, a kind of a personal fight? I mean, is this a grudge match? I mean, we don't like each other, so yeah. I wouldn't say we're, we're like putting a lot of trash out there. You know, last week before I left here, she was trying to talk to me in the changing room, so I don't know if it's that much of a grudge. I think it's more for show, and uh, but for me, I'm just here to turn up and do my job, and. I would just tell you guys honestly my opinion. Yeah, last thing for me, what's what's the goal here? I mean, obviously it's always to win, but I mean, do you feel like you need to go make a statement and show like, hey, I'm still that title contender that deserves to be talked about, or is it just, let's just get a win and keep moving forward? Yeah, I don't, there's that pressure already there, so I don't want to put that added onto me. I just want to go out there, perform, have fun, and uh, I feel like she's a great opponent for me to do that. Where, can you tell us where did it all start? Mm. I was actually because I knew I had you guys I was looking back on the, the tweets and she took a fight two weeks short notice and I was on the bench like waiting for Valentina and but I was ready and I would have made weight and she I heard that she on that morning she was four pounds over and then she celebrated that she was point two over and I was like I just put it out to to the Twitter world, were you really a uh, point two over? And then I was just like hashtag make flyweight great again and hashtag ban the curtain trick. And uh, she just attacked me back and was saying that I was fake and I was just trying to be this sweet innocent girl, but I'm not. And yeah, I was hold the bloody back and forth. And I was like, you should be in your bed planning for your your fight tomorrow but she wasn't she was and that's the kind of person she is you know she likes drama 
their uh, their flight from Vegas to here got delayed by a day, and I think that probably wouldn't help your weight cut if you were stuck in a hotel room. Mm. Do you think she's going to miss weight? Uh, she's looking slimmer than what she was because obviously she's at the PI, so I can kind of I'm not watching her like a hawk, but um, she's in my division, so I definitely think she's a lot smaller than what she was a couple of weeks before when she was missing weight so I think she's gonna make it but yeah that flight I'm glad I was not on that flight to look at her and to <laughs> uh, get in here early and that was for me a professional uh, that was my I wanted to be out here to make sure my weight was good and my sleep schedule was on and uh, I made sure I was out here early for that Obviously, obviously the flight being delayed is not her fault but would you still be pretty pissed off if she misses weight considering she's missed weight before and then celebrated being point two over? Yeah for sure I feel like she should got to bantam weight uh, you know when I first missed weight at straw weight I'd done the right thing I made that choice of I'm not I'm not going to hang around here and waste people's time and uh, waste my own money I'm going to go up and do the right thing What's it been like uh, peaking with Roxy in Viking? It's been awesome. Just me and her have a great training re relationship. You know, she she would do something on me, and I'll go and ask John. Fuck, she got me with this. What can I do? And she does the exact same thing. And we've got no ego towards each other. We go in there, and if her goals are the same as mine, she's basically been the training partner that I've been searching for you know I want someone my own size someone like me that wants to get better and she is definitely like that and she trains she's a workhorse like me so it we really hit it off and it's been good that our fights lined up together are you gonna try to be on the same schedule more often moving forward yeah I mean we're training together anyway but it's just good to have the fights close together but if she's got a fight and then I'm not fighting I'm still there helping her and same with her that's why I like that team relationship so much. Did you watch the Scotland Serbia game? Yeah well I was in my bed sleeping but I, I saw the highlights. You must be chuffed then right? <laughs> I like that use of word. Yes I was <laughs> chuffed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I know you've always uh, been supportive of Connor. Uh, do you think he, he wins? How do you, how do you see the, the main event playing out? I just feel like Connor and his mindset can do anything. He can beat the world, <laughs> and I I like that about him. And yeah, so he's in that mindset right now. I love Dustin. Would love to see him win, but yeah, I'm with Connor in this one. So, I mean, you have his back if he runs into Khabib in the lobby. <laughs> yeah, actually, I'd never <laughs> thought about that until you mentioned that he's here, right? Yeah. Jeez, uh, I think I would be the last person. I would probably be, there's so much security and <laughs> other people that would probably get in there first. I'm sure you would be jumping in, bad, like, ripping your shirt off and getting in there. <laughs> I've, got, I've got a uh, got bad knee, you know. <laughs> So obviously you have a common opponent himself, Cynthia Calvillo. What did you make of her performance in the loss to Cynthia? Yeah, I actually just watched that this morning and got a lot of confidence from that. Mm -hmm. uh, and yeah, I just, I think she, Cynthia done a great job. She had a great game plan. And I'm surprised Jessica uh, lasted five rounds especially after that weight cut I'm sure she had but yeah I know Jessica's tough and she's going to bring it but yeah I, I was per I was impressed with Cynthia's win uh, against Jessica. Is that still one that you want to get back because I remember in the hydro everybody there thought that you you'd won that night but obviously the result didn't go your way. Yeah, definitely, and I've seen her since, and we're cool, because we had a little bit of a beef when I was telling her she should move up to flyweight. Uh, she also did not like that, <laughs> me being honest, but 
I'm sure my manager Danny would not like that fight to happen because he also manages her but I would like to get that back and if our paths did cross then we're not training together we were civil but I'm sure she would be down to do the business as well. I ask how um, your training has been going over the past sort of year or so you've had to adjust because of uh, COVID and all that stuff but how much time have you spent obviously I think Scotland's in lockdown now as it is in England how much time have you spent there or America or how's it been for you? So I kind of hit it good uh, my fiance is my coach so it's a bonus you know we fight every night anyway to <laughs> who, <laughs> who makes the dinner who does the tidying up and it's always me I'll let you guys know uh, but yeah so it's not really changed I've always had access to the, the gym also I've I've not had access to the team at some points but right now Vegas is pretty much I think I'm in a good spot we're not open open but we're getting to train and it's good that having a fight because you need that especially in this sport you can't just hit pads you know I mean in general um, do you think it's important to kind of expand your training out of the UK um, you know what do you make of how things have developed there because you know someone like Leon Edwards is kind of like, really against leaving the UK to go and train um, but for you do you feel like that's really helped up your game yeah, not at the start, <laughs> uh, but now that I'm at Syndicate, I feel, yeah, I have, we have Cindy checks, we have like 12 girls that are in our team and it's just, like I said earlier, I was searching for female training partners and I feel like it's a big, big, big uh, thing that I was missing. I was always training with guys and yeah, I would stay in there, I would, but it was, wasn't good for my confidence because I was always getting beaten up because <laughs> I just couldn't win <laughs> with some with a guy and someone bigger than me so yeah I feel like I'm in a good place now I like it there I didn't have that in Scotland and I know I know a lot of some of the guys that are staying in the UK and they're making it work and you do you can make it work but for me I just had to get out of the cold <laughs> <laughs> find the heat and find female training partners. You, you talk about uh, making it work, and there are kind of like certain hotbeds in the UK, right, like the Midlands, or just in Liverpool, and places like that. Um, how difficult originally was it for you, kind of trying to make an imprint in the, in the industry? Yeah, and my my gym back home is awesome. Like I miss, I think about them every day, and I really did want to make it work, but. Uh, and I still, when I can get back there, there's no like, there's no hard feelings there, and I wish I could have made it work, but I feel like I'm in a great place. I've met my fiance, and I've met my the best team that I could be around, that I want to be around. And uh, if I didn't move from Scotland, I wouldn't be in this place. So I don't see it. Uh, I'm glad that I did leave Scotland. And finally, you talked earlier about you know the, the mental aspect on the day of the last fight you had, and you know, the Valentina shot obviously getting delayed and all kinds of hurdles like that. Do you feel like all of that has made you mentally stronger moving forward? It's, it's all part of the journey. Yeah, it definitely was hard, but this sport brings lots of ups and downs, and I feel like that and everything else, that, all the other shit that I've been through, then yeah, it's. <laughs> And it never gets easier, but it's just a constant battle that you're always working at every day. <coughs> has John been making you jump much on this trip, or is that off limits in five weeks? <laughs> it's definitely off limits. And he actually stopped after my last fight. He was like feeling a little bit bad for me. And, uh, <laughs> but he's as he always says, well, if you start it up, then don't come crying to me so he he he's he he can be good when when he when he when he should be yeah, yeah. so yeah he's not done it this <laughs> I should get maybe him? get him it's only when I get him he, he'll start getting me back so I'm my own worst enemy for that <laughs> <laughs> thanks guys thank you Joe. thanks guys